tomorrow Baba will be jetting back and Baba is coming with the kiwa. Baba is coming with the kiwa to reduce the cost of living. The kiwa to ensure that there is free secondary education. The kiwa to ensure that there is free university education. The kiwa to ensure that the government will comply to what they said about offering free health to Kenyan citizens. The kiwa to ensure that the price of fuel is reduced. And I want to tell you that as at now, the government is at a dysfunctional equilibrium. Things are very hot, and the words that Ruto and Rigadi are saying are inversely proportional to their actions. Be that as it may, Brian, I want to confidently tell you that this government is worse than Pastor Mackenzie. In fact, they are both terrorists. Why am I saying so? Because by the doctrine of res ipsa lokita, the doctrine of res ipsa lokita states clearly that the fact speaks for themselves. And as we can see, the fact speaks for themselves if the government has continuously refused to reduce the cost of living. They have continually refused to offer free university education. They have continually refused to even give help. As at now, comrades cannot get help. As at now, there are a lot of deaths that are happening in this country because of this government, because of depression, because of frustrations. And the good news is that Baba is coming with a kiwa. And the kiwa will be better imagined than experienced. Mandamano is coming back because uh, the government is not coming on the table in good faith. By the doctrine, uh, by the maxim of equity, which states that he who comes to equity must come with clean hands. They are not coming with clean hands. They are coming in bad faith by virtue that they are giving a, a member of Azimio who is in Jubilee an opportunity to represent them as Kenya Kwanza in bipartisan talks. That is in bad faith. And when you eat with the devil,